Hello. So, uh, we'll just you guys as soon as they're ready. Okay. 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 Okay.
like the camper guys go like this. We will be turning, sir. I'm braced. Right here is the hotel. Right. As long as you're facing me, if you're facing the other way, you'll be on your left. I'm hoping one of us turns Anyway, we go 30 in the straightaway, 19 in the turn, maybe 24 the whole way. Oh, wow. How do you disconnect? We ride on this rail here. Uh, they ride on the other rail. Okay. We're pulled by the cable underneath there. You're pulled by the cable on the other side. Uh, now, how do you keep it balanced? When do they start putting plates to work on Next week. Next week, yeah, Sunday. 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 A week from the day.
the, the, the um, lighter thing, you know, the thing in between, uh -huh. somebody's pulled it out. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. 
We have a very brief program for you today. You're going to hear from a number of senior executives that have been involved with this project or behind this project. And then we have some fabulous drawings that we'll get into. So first, we'll get the show on the road. I'd like to introduce to you yeah. the Vice President of Facilities and Airport Affairs yeah, and the gentleman that's been Hello. really solely responsible for driving this project. And I think after you've had an opportunity to go through it a little bit today, just what a magnificent facility is, Mr. Jim Greenwald. Uh, let me welcome you all here today. I hope you get a chance to see everything that's here. Please get on the tram, go down in the in the tunnel that goes over to the uh, commuter concourses to the west. Make your way down to the south, get a good look at it all. Those of us who have worked on this project will be interested to know how you feel about it. Uh, we have a little contest to find out which part you like the best. I would like specifically, in the few seconds I have to do this, to thank and congratulate all of the people who had a hand in making this facility what it is. The architects, the craftsmen who actually put it all together, and I've seen a number of you here today. I thank you for coming especially. Most of the time I see you with a hard hat on, it's a little hard to recognize each one, but um, this is what we call home, handmade in Detroit, done here with 2,000 craftsmen over a period of three years, day by day, piece by piece. I think you would agree with me they've done a fine, fine job. We're, we're very pleased with the quality of it and the way it looks. I can tell you also it's going to work just as well as it looks. I'd also like in the moment I have to thank the people who did this with me, that is the midfield project team. They've been here day and night. They're in a trailer out in the mud just a little bit to the south of here. And for all of the members of the project team that are here, thank you very, very, very much and congratulations. It's now my honor and privilege to introduce our partner in all this, um, the director of Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport, Lester Robinson. Lester. Thank you very much. Um, bring you greetings from uh, my boss, Mr. Ed McNamara, uh, and I'm very pleased to see you all here. You know, over the last three days, uh, there have been a lot of congratulatory remarks uh, toward myself, toward uh, Richard Anderson, toward Jim Greenwald, toward uh, McNamara and others. And I, and I think that even though that uh, was welcome, uh, the real congratulations really belongs to all of you. So, congratulate yourself. Uh, we're very proud of all the efforts that are put in uh, by all the crafts that were here, by all the security people that were here, uh, by our staff and the police and fire uh, functions and all the administrative people as well. Uh, in addition to that, I think what we've proved by this new facility is that uh, we can uh, grow toward the future, uh, this facility will take us to, we think, uh, 2025, uh, and as a result of all of its amenities, we think uh, this will also put us back on the map uh, as one of the greatest international ports in the world. Uh, so all of you really deserve the congratulations for that, and we're very pleased that you're here. Thank you very much. Now, I also would like to uh, introduce uh, our partner again in Northwest Airlines, but this is a very special person that I met about 10 years ago. Uh, and uh, lo and behold, he runs a company now. Uh, it's Richard Anderson of Northwest Airlines. Lester, you're a great partner. Thank you. Um, I would like Actually, we would all like to thank all of the people of Northwest Airlines that have gotten us to this position today, because it's not about executives that stand on stages and give long speeches. It's about all the people of Northwest who have 
run an airline in a facility that, has, that is really impossible to run a hub airline in. And the only reason why we are where we are today is because you made it work in the, in the Davie Terminal and in the International Terminal. And so I want everyone here to give a round of applause to the people of Northwest Airlines. The facility that we're moving from was built to handle 4 million passengers a year and we put in excess of 31 million passengers a year through that facility. And the only way that it was possible is because of you. And because of your work, we're here today in a new home. And what this new home means to us at Northwest is that our future is secure. That we now have the best airport facility in the world. And this is evidence of complete confidence in the people of Northwest. We've been flying airline, airplanes under the same lame, name longer than any other airline in the United States. And it is our responsibility to carry forward the traditions of Northwest. That tradition was given to us by the people that went before us at this airline, and it's our responsibility to carry forward the tradition of a strong and independent Northwest for the generations to come. And this facility is the cornerstone of that strategy. So we all have a lot to be proud of, and but for you, we wouldn't all be here today. So thank you very much. Enjoy your day here today. This is a celebration about you. This is an open house for our new home. So enjoy it. And let me now introduce Clyde Kaiser. Clyde is the president of Airbus North America Customer Service. Clyde has worked with many of us for many years. Um, he is the key person that we all deal with at Airbus. Uh, he also happens to be quite a fine pilot. Uh, even though it was helicopters. Um, but he can fly fixed-wing airplanes too, and he's been a great partner. Airbus is a great partner of our airline, and he's always been there for us, and he came here today uh, to, to sponsor with us the event for our employees, and we're, we're, very, we're very proud to have Airbus as a partner here today. Lester? Thank you very much. Thank you. This is a great day for the people of Northwest Airlines, a great day for the people of Wayne County, and a great day for the people at the airport here in Detroit. It's an historic airport. I grew up 35 miles northeast of here, and in 1945, I was not at this airport, but I was here in Michigan when Detroit Airport was added to the Northwest Line to complete the first transcontinental route for Northwest. So this is an historic combination of two great facilities, Northwest Airlines and, uh, Air and Detroit Airport. I have a gift that I'd like to give to Lester and to uh, Richard, and it's a uh, from the 1927 Air Almanac, which uh, used to be that in the airline industry we had an annual booklet put out that described everything that happened in the year before. Well, 1926, Northwest started operations. And they started operating the uh, airmail route, air route number nine. Northwest was formed by a bunch of businessmen from Detroit and St. Paul. When they began operation in 1926, they had three Stinson Detroiters that carried their passengers in the mail. So you can see that through time there has been a tremendous tie between the institutions of Northwest Airlines and the Detroit Airport. And I'd like to give a gift to both Lester and uh, Richard, which commemorates that, and it's historic pictures of the original founders, the original route structure, and the original aircraft for Northwest Airlines. Thanks so much, Clyde. What do we do now? All right, gentlemen, if you please stay up here. Thank you, sir. 
We're going to do the drawings, and Mr. Kaiser, we're going to start with you. This uh, terminal is a tribute to the vision of a great number of people who are building for the future, and it's a stark differentiation between those whose vision is growth and building, and as opposed to those whose vision is destruction for our industry. One of the other great visions that Northwest is going to demonstrate at this terminal here in the coming year is the introduction of the A330. So one of the things we're going to give away in this uh, drawing are some models of the A330 aircraft, the Airbus A330. So we'll draw and see who the lucky participants are. The first uh, winner of an A330 is Pam Sink, S-Y-C-H. Pam? Well, we've got her number and everything, so we'll get it to her. Okay. Okay, Taylor. Okay, the second winner is Michelle Forms, or Formes, F-O-R-M-E-S. Michelle, are you out there? Yes, this will be for an A330 in Airbus colors. The first one was in Northwest colors. So. Everybody must be out eating. This is another A330 in Airbus colors. <laughs> James Webb Jr. James Webb Jr. <laughs> okay. Another th and we have another A330 in Airbus colors. I think this is the last of the models. <laughs> Laura Hawks. Laura Hawks. <laughs> Finally got a winner. One more in our colors. Okay. And one more A330. You won an A330. Lester, you drew the name. Yes, one more A330 model. Okay. Okay, Stephen Justice. Stephen Justice. That's it. That's Airbus Color. Okay. Thank you very much, and congratulations to all of you on your past, your present, and your future. The uh, next drawing is for uh, two tiger sets of tiger tickets for two people. Uh, and go ahead. Bob Ball's going to draw. Uh, the first winner is Gerald Lemke of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Is Gerald Lemke here. Two tickets to the baseball game. <laughs> Uh, the second winner is Young Wu of, uh, looks like Bright, Michigan. Young Wu, two sets of Tiger tickets. Okay. Okay, the final prize today, two tickets on Northwest Airlines, oddly enough.
the airplane guy. Mr. Lemke, congratulations, enjoy the game. Okay, Lester, please help me and draw the final name, winner of two round trip, 48 state domestic tickets on Northwest Airlines. And the winner is... Lester Robinson. No. <laughs> Tim Coons of Riverview, Michigan. Congratulations, Tim. That's it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thanks once again for everybody who had a part in this. Please enjoy your day. Oh, you got Ticket lobby area is very nice now.